Welcome back. We gotta go in a warehouse. Again. <laughs> Except backwards now. Backwards There's nothing sneaking. more exciting. Nothing more exciting than backwards sneaking in a warehouse. Well, I'm gonna distract Gaiu by throwing a magazine. Hmm. It actually worked. What? <laughs> Did that one work? <laughs> this one will work. <laughs> that worked. What's that sound? Everybody look, what, what's going down? Investigate mm. the magazine. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, there, there's someone there. You should check it out. Well, thank you for yeah. reopening for me, sentient door. I really think the doors are like secret sleeper agents for the CIA. <laughs> They're CIA doors that were installed in this Russian warehouse. We're also a true patriot, Dor. <laughs> I actually had a plan for this map where I was gonna fall on that guy and the first magazine would have distracted the first guy enough that I would have been able to get on the railing from here and fall on the other other uh, other guy. But it's <laughs> that didn't the, work. The, the timing is so hard, I've only gotten it done once, so instead we're just gonna beat the hell out of everybody. <laughs> I'm I also gonna that. use Oh yes. Uh, chaff gas. It, uh, <laughs> <What is that>? it's, <laughs> it stops all their grenades <laughs> from working. <laughs> what? <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. I decided that we should use the shotgun on people. On the chaff Why gas. Why is that guy just running away? And I don't hiding. know, but watch me effortless, effortlessly dodge every single bullet shot at me. I'm trying to set the guy on fire with a torch, but it takes a really long time, so unfortunately I think I am unsuccessful with setting him on fire. That's like a, my whole aim right here. I'm not trying to kill him, just trying to set him. Okay, maybe. But just with fire. Very slow fire. But there was chaff. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it takes a really long time for them to light on fire, and there's only a couple ways you can do it. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but that was chaff, a chaff grenade. Uh, it blocks radio <laughs> Among signals. other things. It makes you cough when you're really close to the explosion. Uh, but well, it's you... very important. It's tactical coughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if... We really need to know that. Yeah. If uh, you use the chaff grenade, you also can't use your motion detector or sonar. Oh! oh. Damn it! What was that? Oh, <laughs> it was a, it was a thing. I think post commentary is better when I don't remember what's gonna happen in the video. So far, it's proved. <laughs> oh, here's face camo. I didn't get the first time around. Yes, in the last three minutes. It's yeah. Told <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is post commentary. Up. Bet you thought, yeah. Oh no! Well, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> well, here's a door we can go in now because Granin gave us a, a key. You can tell because you can't hear my chair squeaking every time. You can kinda hear mine, probably. I wonder if you can hear my corn pops popping. I just woke up, it's one in the afternoon. Oh. Telephone time. Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohod. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase 2 tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake. Do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. 
Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have I it I like be to the think that those liver me. spots on his head are like naturally born camouflage. <laughs> that's how he uses them. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh. Let's get a gun. And, There's something and special the, with the tree. tree. Combined with the gun. It's tree a, gun? It's, no. You can make a tree gun? But when you're hanging from oh. a tree, you can still shoot. <laughs> There's almost never any use for it. But if you're ever hanging from a tree and you get caught, don't worry, you don't have to drop down first. You can shoot from the branch. Oh, well that's that's handy. It also looks pretty damn cool. Yeah. And it has a, its own reload animation. He does some crazy impossible one-handed reload. I don't know. But there there yeah, we have the R snake D. Uh, I think that might have been a new snake, I don't know, but this is a new mushroom. Ooh. Come here. There's a fungus Whoa. among us. <laughs> How'd I miss that mushroom? There, there we go. This also gives us antidote. That's a, that's a helpful mushroom, I guess. If you're dumb enough to get poisoned in this game by eating bad food. His crouching, knifing animation just <laughs> makes me think of Bollywood hand positions when they dance. Uh, I... <laughs> oh, we haven't actually used... Uh, now, this wait, yet. what's that one special... It makes frogs thing? rivet when you're near them. The, oh, the frogs you want to shoot. I forgot. This one's... somewhere. Ah! Ah, frog time. There's the frog. Whoop. Go, Snake, get up yeah. on your tippy toes. Here we go. Ah! Got shot the hell out of there, frog! <laughs> Frog doesn't know what hit it. Teach that hit frog, frog to mess with me? I don't know. Is this a new mushroom? We all look it the same. It was a bullet. That's what hit you. It was a bullet. <laughs> no, let's see. I think that's the first mushroom I ever got. I just punched that flower out of the ground somehow. Just imagine being so strong with your punches that flowers and plants just get uprooted. You should kick one of those butterflies. Rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. I've already gotten, there's only one rabbit in the game, but I haven't gotten these before. These little green things hanging from those vines that you'd almost never notice unless you read about them before. Papaya? No, that's not what papaya Our is vegetable. Like. <laughs> I don't know. This vegetable it, belongs to us? I guess yeah. the R is reticulated or something. <laughs> Here's a mushroom. It's the only this specific mushroom is the only thing that restores your ammo for uh, your handkerchief. Only oh, thing. Oh well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Too bad the handkerchief has like 60 rounds, and you almost never just wave it around. <laughs> and that's the you only should. thing that makes the ammo go down. You sh you should do a boss kill with the handkerchief. Oh yes, actually. That would be awesome. Let's use a new camo we haven't used before. I don't know, like leaf. Uh, whatever. Yeah. It's good for underbrush, if you know what I mean. The hell am I even talking about? No, I, I, I don't. Well, if you have underbrush problems like me, <coughs> and you need something to conceal yourself in underbrush, call 1 866. <laughs> God, these slightly angled surfaces are so hard for Snake to go up. <laughs> Gravity just becomes like twice as gravitous on those on those angles for snake. It's just when you're a soldier, the forces of nature they pull on you more than an average man. Literally, when you're going up hills, the weight on your shoulders gets heavier. 
And you carry the weight of the world, that? the weight of governments. Distracting that guy with a ration. You can actually do that with any food. They just get distracted by the plink noise they make. Oh, it, it seemed like he wasn't hungry for a while. Yeah. If you blow up, like, a warehouse, Speak. they will get hungry and they will pick up rotten food. Goodbye. Oh, oh, de oh dear. Surprise, there was a hole there. They And he actually <laughs> runs around the hole. He knows those traps are there. Oh, and now footprints come up as white hot. Ah. Just gotta be on the right surface, like this muddy type thing. Is that a new mushroom? I can't tell, but we're picking it up. Mushroom G. No, it wasn't. It was not new. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be a checklist somewhere. Come on. There's a checklist, but I just... The mushrooms are the hardest part. Like, I, I remember what the everything else. hell did someone else. leave in the middle of a tree? <laughs> What, what is it? No, it's another mushroom, oh, but my God. feet cannot penetrate the middle of those trees! So we're just moving along! Forget about that mushroom! Screw you, mushroom. You suck. The mushroom's dumb! And it, it hurt my feelings. Oh, That's sad. There's like three guys all around here, but they never catch me here, even when I'm running around. They're all in the wrong place. They have te terrible tactical placement of their soldier mans. <laughs> what? Wait, if, if footprints show up now on this terrain, how come it's only footprints? Like, you are, you are laying your body heat all over the ground there. I don't know. You were just, well, he has you're just snake. dragging heat everywhere. Well, his code name is Hand prints and elbow prints. But that, that shouldn't even work because snakes come up as hot. <laughs> just being alive makes you come up as being hot I was waiting to what do a hell? special thing but I just had to wait so I just sped it up like there's a trip wire here and just, this guy's gonna walk near it and I wanted to get him with the trap snip that in, instead of making me think my computer's about to explode <laughs> the enemy uh, he's here it didn't even hit him no unfortunately oh. so screw that guy <laughs> I oh, really want for nothing, work. guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, that's why it's all spin up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh. oh well. So I know I was going on about it, but I finally figured out why the bosses shout their name all the time. What is it? What? It's their s frog. This is a the frog. This is a special no, it, it frog. Their strategy is to confuse Snake by, by mentioning uh, abstract concepts. He has no idea uh, of how to interpret them. No like experience if the with fear whatsoever. just would have been able to shout his name like five more times, Snake would have gone cross-eyed and just fallen over. We gotta no, capture this frog uh, alive. What? What mean fear? Uh, I don't get emotion. What? Uh, and then he would have tipped over and exploded. He w he doesn't exactly. even know he has a bomb in him, but maybe it's just a s maybe his stomach just explodes. The the there's so much food in there that it just bursts from the seams, and he just literally just goes everywhere. It's really the only logical conclusion. I mean, there, there was that conversation with Sigint. He's like emotions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It's their actual strategy. <laughs> I'm gonna get these guys. With some he books. cannot conceive of abstract concepts. By the way, they're exploiting Snake's one weakness. Ah, I'm gonna get those guys with some books. So that frog we picked up, we need a name for him, because that frog's got a special mission. <laughs> mission frog. This is well. It's the mission frog. Can't use Charlie. That's why I named the Suchinoko. What do we have here? Yeah. Well, you 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 pick a name. I don't. Uh, why do they crow like chickens? I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a woman. Well, it's time to Cock prepare the mating ritual. Cockadoodle. <laughs> Ladies, I'm waiting. What's this? I have the most colorful feathers. <laughs> and they do it synchronized, too. 
Take this frog! What? They're, they're invulnerable to poison frogs while looking at pornography magazines. The hell? The, oh, wait. You know, they, they should probably put that in the advertising, you know, when, when they're going for, like, uh, subscription drives. <laughs> this will make you invulnerable to poison frogs. <laughs> thrown at you. They have to be thrown, not... If they're forcefully put in your mouth, well, we can't really help you. But now we got bees following us. We got an army of... We got an army of bees. They will do our beading. Uh, ah. <laughs> bee jokes. <laughs> it's like grandpa jokes. But bees. What? You, grandpa jokes? Gr grandpa jokes. You know grandpa how... Grandpa jokes. You know how grandpas always tell, like, the same five jokes? They're all the same really old jokes oh. everybody's heard. I thought you were talking about jokes about grandpa. No. Like, I, I don't jokes. make jokes about my grandpa. He's dead. <laughs> jokes told by grandpas. <laughs> oh, well, I don't get to hear a lot of those. He's dead. Well, I only have one. He's crazy, <laughs> so... <laughs> so really, neither of us have any idea what we're talking about. Well, I saw Larry King on the Today Show last night, and he told a really dumb grandpa joke about women in trains. He also wants to be cryogenically frozen and have his head cut off. <laughs> He's halfway there. <laughs> There's He's, a gun in here. He already looks embalmed, so... <laughs> There's a gun in the here. extra mile. It's a light machine gun. We don't use it in this video, but there's gonna be a special video dedicated just to this gun, because it is the most special gun to Snake. Like, he, he has a special reaction when he fires it every time. <laughs> well, now and, I'm on pins and needles and everything. Uh, and my bees hmm. left me, but they will return. But I think my bees actually attack somebody, I'm not sure. <laughs> when you go underneath something like that, the bees just go do whatever they want and attack whoever's closest to them, I think. You have such well-trained bees, they're autonomous. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I just heard... I, I'm running back because I just heard somebody got hit by bees. But it's not the guy who was just here, I think. So <laughs> There's just some mystery man who just got stung by like a hundred bees. And I will never know who he is. I'd like to meet that man and shake his <laughs> hand. Maybe get an autograph. Well, if you shook it. There oh, they there are my bees. Good job, They're bees, back. I guess. There's nothing else special in this hut. Except, uh, there's a frog in one of the other rooms. Hmm. Mm -mm. But yeah, this is a whole optional map. It's just really to get that special gun. What? Why'd I do that? What was the purpose of those binoculars? I... I don't know. I don't well, people know. always go on about how... Like, what the AI should be like. But really, th these are the worst trained soldiers ever. <laughs> The, the AI is pretty cool, not but as real soldiers, they are the worst things. <laughs> Snake could not have an easier time. <laughs> like, I'm going to go investigate this mysterious ration instead of asking, why the hell is there a mysterious ration? What? Oh, I should no, look somewhere else. Me. Well, it's time to knife a guy after he got bead. Or on the other hand, hey, free porno from the gods, when the real reaction should be, there's a dude throwing books around here. <laughs> I should check that out, that's my job. <laughs> well, the game's infinitely more fun for that. <laughs> I gotta thank you Japanese people. For making a game where I can distract people with frogs, and I can also do this following trick. Huh? What? There's smoke there. Let's investigate the smoke. Oh, there's a porno mag. Never mind. Oh no, bees! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. It's called the smoke. Switch it with the book and then get it with bees. Switch through. That's a really long name. There, there's <laughs> got to be like an acronym or something for that. I'll call it the swab. I don't even know if that's an acronym, but swab sounds pretty good. You got swabbed, sucka. <laughs> uh, uh, tree, tree bark. bark. There's another camouflage. We're gonna be around a whole lot of trees. Time for some tree bark. 
Oh, he, he just, just got stand like a with duck. some of those shrubs you kicked and be a tree. <laughs> just be like that one uh, ape from the Ape Escape mini game. I am one with the forest. Except be smart and hold bushes instead of broccoli. I think <laughs> I like <laughs> broccoli. Shut up. You like broccoli? I love broccoli. I don't. I'm not. I will even have the occasional broccoli. Brussels sprout. You know, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and one other vegetable that I can't remember are all uh. from the same exact plant, just uh, yeah. cultivated differently. It's like the vegetable version of a pig! They're biologically the same. Ah. Uh. Jump cut, because I cut out all the extreme action and tension that was me waiting for a guy to come close so I could shoot him in the face. But you could do that earlier with the trap set up? I don't know why it's sped up. I think I meant to cut it out, and then I accidentally clicked on Please speed this up by 700%. But what's already done is done. You Can't all be undone. The now. I beg of you, grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have my thanks. I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. Do you hear me, Snake? I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. that sniper you were talking about. That's the end. He's a legend, known as the father of sniping. I've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments. What about the forest? Never. I see. Well, that forest is divided into three areas, a river, a plateau, and a clearing. He should be lying in wait for you in one of those places. Sounds like this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Be careful, though. From what I've heard, the End has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh but he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. Let's beat up an old man. So he's like a living tree. Yes. And the forest is on his side. Yep. 
Uh, he talks really, really slowly. Well, he's We're like... You're fighting an Ent. He's not the end. he's the Ent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just got the spelling wrong. So, th this boss fight... Uh... For most people, it's really memorable. Because... This feels really intense so far, yeah. Well, it's... A really long, drawn-out fight, where, <laughs> okay, because there's more than one spot for him to hide, and it's not like they made, like, five spots, and they just learned the spots and let's check them all, all out. No, he has 39 hiding spots, divided <laughs> between three separate maps. Is it 13 each, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it's a little, it's not math. evenly distributed. This map has the smallest amount of spots, I think. So it's not 13, 13, 13. You just lied to me. Oh, no! But, uh, like I was doing there, you have to search for him through a whole bunch of different ways. You can try and hear Holy his... Holy crap! Yeah. It's pretty quick. He spots you pretty quick. But, uh, you can track his breathing with a directional microphone. And there's his parrot. Shoot the parrot. I'm gonna shoot, shoot the parrot. That parrot. But I'm Go gonna find him and eat the parrot right in front of him. I'm gonna shoot the parrot alive. Well, Give me that. Yeah, if you shoot it when it's dead, it's kind of a waste. Yeah. Bullets. Oh, if you didn't go to that op Holy. Yeah, if you didn't go to that optional place where we got the sniper rifle, this is where you would normally find it. But uh hmm. You can either do this the normal way, like, you find him, and then you shoot him in the head about 12 times. That's about how many shots I think it takes to the head with a sniper rifle to kill him. Uh, well, or... Well, you gotta get through all that bark and liver spots. <laughs> liver bark. Yeah. Or you can, uh, track him and then sneak up on him, because, like, unlike the other bosses, he has two items to give you instead of just one. Ooh. Yeah. And one of the items we have to get by holding him up instead of uh, stamina killing him. And there's a f so we're going to hold him up and then stamina kill him. Yep. I think I shoot. Nice. I think I shoot him in the head once with the rifle, just just for the hell of it. Oh. That that skip the frog. That, frog unimportant. I tried to kick it twice, but that crevice is just so well protected against kicks. <laughs> Snake doesn't want to hurt his shins. What do you think he is? Some sort of badass soldier? Come on. No, he's... He's just... A jerk. I think. <laughs> like, he's just a regular guy in a forest full of incompetence. <laughs> and genetic freaks. Yeah. Like, he just wandered in there by accident and... Well, I guess I'll just be a dick to everybody! Mission, Here, what's that? Here, porn. Hmm. Normal when uh, the fight starts out, the end always starts out in the same spot, which is the spot I'm about to walk up on. But if he sees you and like fires off a bunch of bullets, he he'll very quickly get up and run to a different spot. But, but can't imagine him doing anything too quickly. Oh no, he's fast as hell. You, like you'll see, we'll, he'll start running away from us later, and he's really fast. He he runs faster I than a snake. I mean, just. Judging from the way <laughs> yeah. he talks. You can also catch him by getting the lens flare off the scope of his uh, rifle. But well, let's just shoot him in the head. <laughs> oh, and you can notice that uh, since he's really old... Oh, he does run pretty quick. Yeah, his stamina drains on its own. But uh, So much for photosynthesis. <laughs> Screw you, Eva. Well, the... You don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't, like, photosynthesize all the time. Like, if his stamina gets really low, and you take a long-ass time in finding him, like, a giant ray of sunshine will come down on him, and he'll regenerate all of his stamina, unless you very quickly find him, like, in less than a minute, and then shoot him in the head. But, wow. yeah, it's really That's irritating. irritating. It is. Like, the first time most people play this, this boss fight... Ow, oh, my legs! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have broken legs, but I can still run on them. I have a second set of bones, don't you know? But, uh... Yeah, the the first time... Uh, you go through this boss fight... 
it's really, really long. It's like at least an hour. Oh my god. The first time I played this boss fight. But instead, this boss fight's going to be like 20, I think. Oh, and you can tr also track him by his footsteps. It's really easy with thermal goggles. The easiest way to track him is just with his footsteps. There's also a way to cheat and track him, and that is uh, you can, when you're at the map screen, you can punch in the Konami code, and it'll tell you right where he's at. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. And there's one other way to kill him, but that's next video. Yeah. He's right over hmm. there. In that grass. Except that everybody already knows what that is. Oh! Holy crap! Oh no! Gotcha. What's the oh, my vision is getting bad. Oh, he's talking faster. Yep. You can still get yeah. hit when he runs away. Like, if you roll straight into him, you can knock yeah. him over. Or if you do what I do and th always throw a stun grenade when he throws one, sometimes you can get him with it. But instead, I just got extra hungry and kind of blind. <laughs> Eat the parrot. No. The parrot isn't ready for eating yet. Mm, delicious. He also does not kill you. He just shoots you with tranquilizer darts. And Why? Uh, he's this weird guy who... I don't know. Does like, he want you alive so he can transfer his consciousness into your body and get a second lifetime? You know. That'd be pretty cool. Well, like, I'd be down with that. Like, uh... When he knocks you out, he just thinks that you aren't deserving of being of dying yet, because you haven't reached your true potential or something like that. And so instead, he will pick you up and carry you back to the uh, the laboratory where you're just sneaking at as a scientist. He takes you all the way back there and sticks you in a jail cell. And so you've got to get all the way out and then kill him again. Yeah, but the good thing is uh, he doesn't regenerate any health or stamina during that time. I think. Later, this will just be cut out, but like for now, because there's three giant maps, I'm just speeding it up. Oh god, he caught me again! Yeah, you're a dumb face, and I'm gonna get you with the stun grenade in a second. At least he's not shouting the end. Yes, he actually talks. I like him the most out of all the bosses, just because he actually talks. And... Got you it's over. the end of my eyes! I'm gonna hold you up, old man. Freeze. Huh? How did you? I blew up a grenade in the face, <laughs> and then you were blind. I don't think so. Well, shake again. I don't think so. Third time's a charm. Shake again! Uh, bye. There we go. Have this. <laughs> oh! Why, why are you running away? Keep shooting him. No. W once you shoot him three times, he automatically drops a flash grenade. Oh. Yeah. So, wait, I I is moss camo good? Um, if you're laying on grass and you wear the moss camo, you are you have a camo index of 100%. What? Ooh. A goat! Oh, son of a bitch! Goat! <laughs> the hell? I'm gonna eat you right now! <laughs> <laughs> We finally got that goat. Yep. From the uh, ocelot fight, got it back. Yep. Got the hell out it's of that. Probably goat. the same goat too. Also, the name Markor. I don't remember what language, but it means snake eater. Goats don't eat snakes. I know. Yeah. I don't know why the that goat is named the snake eater in a different language when the goat eat does not eat like snakes. Maybe if it was a mongoose. Uh, maybe. I don't think they eat the snakes, but they definitely, like, fight and kill ah, them. Ah, Konami code. There he is. You are such a cheater. Yeah, but this fight is really long, and you gotta do something to catch him quicker. Cheating's okay in my book. I, I mean... No, it's... Uh... Mm -hmm. You are a dishonorable fellow. I'm sorry, girlfriend I ever had! You. Uh, That's not the way of the soldier. Uh, the way of the soldier is to beat her up and make her cook for you, I think. No, it's this really is to fast kill the crawl. guy by tracking him, not, not oh. using the kind of... He fell asleep. I see sleepsies. 
Yeah, he fell asleep. He does it every once in a while. So let's just beat the hell out of this. Does he need guy. another snake to crawl over him to wake him up? I don't know. Maybe. Who or what exactly was he praying to in that cutscene? Was it the parrot? Was it the snake? The was it the god of sniping? Sun god. Oh, he's an Aztec. That's great. Yeah. Oh, and when you're wearing the moss, Free. when you're wearing the moss camo, uh, your stamina Where regenerates you... if there's sunlight. You can also so you become photosynthetic, yeah. yeah? You can also uh, cheat that a little bit just by equipping the torch at the same time. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you with a throw of my mighty grenade. Ah. I got him. <laughs> We're just really abusing this old man. I feel kind of bad for him. This isn't a boss fight. You're just roughhousing. Yeah. The the unfortunate part about this boss fight is like, because this is normally this is really slow paces. This isn't the way you do it. Like the first time around. You're playing tag now. <laughs> Pretty much. This this boss fight is only like really memorable when you actually get to play it, and you remember how much this guy pisses you off constantly, because <laughs> he always shoots you in the face. You seem to be doing all right. Yeah, but not the first time I played this. Oh God, no! But let's save here. Snake, you want to save? Yeah. You might not want to. Why wouldn't I? Well, it just feels like something bad could happen. It's just your imagination. I hope so. Make sure you come back as soon as you can. <laughs>